Good evening. Hello, hello. El INSAFOR ha trabajado con un alto nivel de... Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Nice to meet you. I'm fine. And you? I'm fine too. How was your day? Oh. It was nice. Very good. We will start a little bit earlier because we have to watch the the video from um in Safor because this is the first day of class. Okay. It's okay. okay. My name is Ruth Hernandez, and I will be your teacher for these four weeks. Remember that we will be having class from Monday to Thursday from eight to nine. If we have any day off during the week, we will be uh, having class on Friday. But I guess that we won't have any day off this, these days. And you have to work ahead on your platform And we will be checking what you are doing. And we will check also the occurrence on the exercises. So we will be uh, working together, okay? Right now, let's see how many people is here. Okay, six. We are supposed to be about 20 or something. Okay, uh, I guess that you are, you are already familiar with the program. You know that the first week we will be covering the first two sections. That means a life a life's little lessons and the other one okay section one in section two for the first week then in the second week we will be covering section three in the middle term exam and for week number three, we will be covering section four 
And for week uh, number five, we will be covering section five and final test. Normally in section uh, for for the, uh, the third week, since it's less material that we cover, I used to give you time to express yourself. That means that the material that we will be covering that uh, for that time, you have to look for information and give a kind of speech. We can share uh, PPTs, okay? Because if you notice here uh, at the bottom, you can share your screen and a PPT and you will be talking about the material that we will be covering for the fourth week. That means that one or two days you will be talking, okay, most of the time. I like you to participate. And if you have any questions, you may do it during the class or you may do it uh, through the WhatsApp group. We have a, a WhatsApp group. Okay, please join it. And any questions up to now? Tienen alguna duda o consulta? No? Not teachers. So okay. Yes, because so you are pre advanced, you are very, very ahead. So I guess you are very good very students. Uh, I already entered to the meeting, so I don't know what, what you said. I'm sorry. Could you please uh, okay. tell us again? Yes? Okay. First, my name is Ruth Hernandez, and I will be your teacher. Okay. We'll, uh, for the first, first week, we will be covering section one and section two from the platform. We have five sections. And then in the first week we cover section one and two. The second week we will be covering section three and the middle term exam. And for week number three, we will be covering section four. And also I used to give you time to have like uh, oral presentations and for the fourth week, we will have a section five and the final exam, okay? You are supposed to work ahead. It doesn't matter if you finish all the, all the material before time, you may do it if you want, and, but only, uh, continue coming to class, okay? You can work ahead. You can even finish the first week, all the material, no, it, it doesn't matter. It's better for you because you are supposed to cover at least 80% uh, of the material before the fourth, uh, the fourth, uh, the third week finish, okay? Because on the fourth week, you have to finish the 100%, but for the third week, they started to send you the documents that you need to fill for the next course, okay? That's why I suggest you to work ahead. And if you work on our uh, path, you will finish well too. Okay. Si ustedes trabajan adelantado, mejor. Pero si también van a nuestro, a, en nuestro paso, también lo van a terminar bien. Porque eh, yo, pero, pero no se atrasen, ¿verdad? No se atrasen. Because for the, for Friday, 
you have to have finished all the schedule from the week. Okay. O sea, para viernes usted tiene que haber terminado todo lo que estaba predispuesto para la semana. That means that for this coming Friday, you have to be covered section one and two. Tienen que haber cubierto la sección uno y dos. Se los voy a enseñar. Permítanme. Estoy mostrándoles eh, mi, mi... Este, mi progreso, ¿sí? Les estoy mostrando la, la, la plataforma. Yes. Okay. Then, yes. if you notice, this is section one. O sea que esta la vamos a tener que terminar hasta acá para el martes. O sea que hoy vamos a llegar hasta aquí. Y para el martes vamos a llegar hasta aquí. Entonces, for Wednesday, we have to cover up to here. Hasta 2.4. And by Thursday, we have to have finished the reading exercise here. Okay, this is section two, the right stuff. By Thursday, you have to be covered all this up to here. Okay, if you work ahead, it's better. If you work at our path, you will be okay. So, si trabajan más adelantado, no hay problema, mejor por usted. Y si va a nuestro ritmo, va a estar bien, pero no se atrás. Because uh, they will be checking your uh, work on the platform on Friday and you are supposed to have been covered all the material. Se supone que deben de haber terminado todo el material. Okay? Here you can see your progress. In my case, I started today and they didn't, they haven't uh, seen anything because I haven't uh, done any of the exercises, but I already have seen the course, okay? If you notice here, When you cover something, they check it, okay? When you cover something, they check it. And we are going to watch this because this is the intro video for the section. But first, we are going to watch the institutional um, for for insa for now let me know if you can listen to it please el insafor ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo can you listen to it yes, ¿Lo yes, 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 yes 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 y lo están bien okay. yes yes, yes. yes. Okay. Teacher, yes. Sí. Ok, yes, es que algunas veces no se muestra, entonces prefiero estar segura. <risa> ok, teacher, perfecto. Ok. Pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país, nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, Siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del sistema de formación profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. 
Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de Competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online, cursos online con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Además, el Insaforp también genera oportunidades para los jóvenes y los salvadoreños en condiciones de vulnerabilidad, ofreciendo para ellos cursos de formación inicial para que más salvadoreños puedan crecer y desarrollarse con programas como Hábil Técnico Permanente ofrece la enseñanza de técnicas y destrezas en diferentes oficios, complementando el conocimiento técnico con competencias blandas necesarias para desempeñar un trabajo. Empresa Centro es un exitoso programa que utiliza la modalidad de formación dual, ofreciendo carreras técnicas que combinan clases teóricas con prácticas en empresas con un alto porcentaje de empleabilidad. El proyecto Caminos de la Juventud forma a jóvenes en condiciones de vulnerabilidad que han finalizado el bachillerato, brindando formación vocacional, habilidades para el trabajo y emprendedurismo. Proyectos especiales. Los proyectos especiales son aquellas acciones de formación que incorporan a otros actores e integran elementos complementarios, como desarrollo humano, articulación con proyectos productivos, financiamiento de herramientas y equipo básico para el autoempleo. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insaport ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Very interesting. Opus Dei. Una de las... Very interesting. All the things that you can study. Okay. Now, any doubts? Any questions? No? Okay. No, Let's... teacher. No, 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 no in this moment, teacher. Uh, have you already started your, your platform? ¿Ya comenzaron su plataforma? No, teacher. Ah. I'm, having, I'm having problem. I can, I can you cannot start get into, the course. You cannot get into the course. Uh, could you write your problem in the WhatsApp group, please? Because uh, um, there we have technicians. Uh, um, I guess so. Um, I just, I just can. I just can inside. Um, a few moments. Ah, you can do it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, this course, they, 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 they made me run. <laughs> because we started today, okay? And they contact me today. <laughs> That's why I haven't sent you any message earlier on the WhatsApp group. Because I was... I was uh, doing the PPT because I, I like to have a PPT in order to follow uh, the, the script. We go to the platform, but we also have the PPT. And this PPT I will share with you, don't worry, okay? And we will have also uh, the extra material 
Uh, you have a, a, a manual in your platform. Have you already downloaded it? ¿Ya bajaron el, el material extra que tienen en su plataforma? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. It's good that you, you may collect it. Okay. Now, someone to read uh, the thought for today, please. Uh, Nadia? Um, education is not the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think, Albert Einstein. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, what do you think about this thought? Do you agree or you are in disagreement? Any of you? All of you agree with this thought? Um, yes, I'm a Cree. Okay. In, yes, me for too. me, it is true because now you can find facts even in your cell phone because you, you can uh, get into any kind of information that you want, even through the cell phone. Okay, something that you are carrying all everywhere. Okay. Uh, now you don't need uh, even to go to the library to, to find information, or you don't need to have a computer. Only by having a cell phone, you have access to different types of information. But nowadays, it's very important that your mind is training to think because you have to know or you have to decide which information is true and which is not because anybody can write things on the net but you have to figure it out if it's right or not, okay? Because sometimes uh, there are a lot of fake uh, news and fake information. So if your mind is trained, you can uh, think which is good and which is not. Now, Somebody to read uh, the lesson objective, please. Okay. In this class, participants will listen to a conversation where time clouds are used in context. Okay, thank you very much. Now, let's see. We will be watching, I told you, the first video. This is the introductory video for section one. Uh, listen carefully. We're about to begin a new course. We want you to keep on learning. So stay and watch the first intro video we have for you. Hey guys. You're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that, just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. 
When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. And was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over. But she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching, and in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor, dead bride. So, how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then, Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you, ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay then, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that, thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. Okay, did you understand that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, of course. <laughs> he was the guy, supposedly. Okay. Now, let's see. Now, I was a really immature. Okay, we had a dialogue, okay, that introduces us to the clauses that we are going to be seeing. And uh, do you want to hear it from the video or do you want to read it from the PPT? Read from the PPT. Okay. Now. First, just listen, and then uh, we are going to repeat all of us, okay? So, what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, 
Until I graduated, I've never had any important responsibilities, but then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. This is for me was a job. What do you think? <laughs> he became totally independent and he was working for his dad. <laughs> okay, now, uh, listen and repeat. So, what were you like when you were younger? Repeat everybody, please. So, what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. When I was when I was a kid, I was skilled of the responsible. You really? You you really? What made you change? What made you change? Graduating from high school. Graduating from high school. What do you mean? What, what do you mean? Until I graduated. Well, until I graduated, well, well, until I graduated, I never had any important responsibilities. I never, I had, never had any important responsibilities. But then, but, but then, then, but then, I went off to college. I, I went, went off to college. To college. Uh, in in United States, the things are different from what we have we have in El Salvador, especially Latin America, uh, because when they graduated from high school, they used to go even to another state in order to study in in any university. So they have to live by their own. Okay. And that's why they suffer from the empty nest, okay? Uh, del, del nido vacío, okay? In, in El Salvador, since e everything is very close, uh, our, our children go to university, but they are still living with us, okay? Al menos que ellos decidan hacer su propia vida, okay? But most of the time, we don't have to say goodbye to our children. But in the United States, they used to go to a far away universities. Uh, most of the time they have uh, scholarships, but sometimes they have to pay for it or they have to get uh, loans that they end paying almost all their life, okay? Now, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know what, I know what, what you mean. mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. I, I was a teenager. So, what made you change? So, so what, what made, made you change? change? I think I became more mature. I, I think I became more mature. After I got my first job. After I got, after my, I got my first job. 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 And moved away from home. And moved, and moved away, away from, from home. home. Once I had a job. Once, once I, had, I a job, had a job. I became totally independent. 
I became I totally independent. Where did you work? Where, Where did, did you work? work? I worked for my dad at the bank. I worked for work my, my, my dad at the bank. Okay. Uh, the dialogue has a second a second uh, part, but the first part is the one that you have written there in here. But the second part is only a uh, listening part, but I transcribe it here, okay? Another turning point for me was when I got my dog, Pepper. I know that sounds silly, but it is a very important to me. Why was that important? Well, I was about 11. I remember that having a dog, you know, he was mine, made me feel really responsible in a funny kind of way. He ha he was bothering me everywhere and was always waiting for me when I came from school. Actually, that sounds kind of nice. I never got to have a dog, but I remember when I had my first bicycle. That was a very important day for me. For the first time, I can go out on my own and go as far as I want to. I used to polish my bicycle every day and take good care of it. Of course, it only lasted few months and then I lost interest on it. Uh, excuse me, I have to correct some things here. Uh... First, I can go out on my own and go as far as I want to use good care. Okay, now, uh, any doubts about uh, vocabulary? Alguna duda sobre vocabulario? No one. No? Do Is you everything what, clear, teacher? Do you know what went off means? ¿Saben qué significa went off? Die. No. Es este irse, como irse lejos, como despegar, como irse Lost. lejos. No. Went off. Eh, de aquí ninguna duda sobre. No todo está claro, ¿verdad? Ustedes ya están bien adelantados. Ok, now. It's supposed to. <ríe> este, acuérdense que las, las, estas últimas, desde aquí, este y esta, eh, en la lección solo, poner lo el... tienen, solo lo tienen en audio. Ok. Pero yo se lo voy a pasar esto, este, ¿cómo se llama? PPT. Y cuando, cuando ustedes estén viendo sus, sus, sus videos, lo verifican si, si no me equivoqué yo ahí en algo, porque como les digo, lo trabajé bien rápido ahorita, ¿verdad? Cuando me, me contactaron para decirme que hoy empezaba clase. Normalmente me dejan por lo menos el fin de semana para empezar mis cosas, pero hoy me lo dijeron hoy mismo y entonces este tuve que volar. No se preocupe, teacher, tómelo a su a su tiempo. No, fíjense que eh, eh, bueno, 
yo tengo 56 años, ya estoy retirada, ya soy, ya soy mayor de edad. Entonces, pero yo siempre he disfrutado mi trabajo, o sea, lo que es la enseñanza. Y siempre me gusta como verificar, es más, este, en la plataforma, ya lo reporté, hay un problemita. Eh, pero lo vamos a, lo vamos a solventar con, por eso les dije que, que bajaran su material. Porque, este, ya le voy a explicar. Por cierto, no lo decía por la edad, ¿eh? No quería ofender. Y siempre no. la plataforma siempre hay problemas, pero bueno. Ah, sí, sí, sí. <risa> y, 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 ¿Y cómo se llama? Este, yo ya la reporté, pero dudo que lo vayan a arreglar. Entonces, lo vamos a solventar con el, con el material. Ok, Entonces, teacher, este... Perfect. Ok, perfecto. Hay el manual, por ejemplo, aquí está. Este, en, por ejemplo, el, el 1.1 y el 1.3 es exactamente el mismo video que le subieron. Y supuestamente en el 1.3 tendrían que haberles puesto sobre las time clauses. Entonces, por eso, en el material, en la página 73, vamos a solventar eso. Que, que no les pusieron, ¿ok? Entonces, Teacher, I have a question. Yes. What is the um, translate in Spanish the once? ¿Cuál es la traducción en español once. de la palabra once o no sé cómo once. se pronuncia? Once. Once. Yeah. Este es como media vez o tan pronto. O sea, oh, okay, okay. por ejemplo, sure. once I come to Panama, o sea, cuando vine a Panamá, once, o sea, media vez, I came okay, to, teacher. ok, es That's algo teacher. así, uh -huh. es como, como, como ubicándonos en el tiempo. Ah, ok, ok, thank you. O sea, o sea, once I started eh, studying, o sea, media vez empecé a estudiar. Entonces, eh, es como cuando lo están a uno ubicando. Permítanme, que se me perdió. Ah, está aquí. Okay. Sí. Teacher, excuse me, uh, I think it means una vez as well. Eh, sí, pero, pero, pero esa es cuando, digamos, cuando están como eh, once upon a time, ¿verdad? Como cuando están empezando un cuento. Érase una vez, once upon a time. Bueno, acuérdense que eh, los estadounidenses son, o sea, los ingleses en general son medio... Era, estaba Entonces diciendo, sería según la situación. Según la situación. Ah, okay, ajá. O okay. sea que ellos eh, tienen para una misma palabra diferentes connotaciones para nosotros en español. Está como el verbo to be. ¿Por qué es que los gringos se oyen tan feo cuando están hablando sobre ser o estar? Que algunas veces ocupan ser y algunas veces ocupan estar. Porque para ellos es el mismo pinche verbo. Ok. <risa> ¿Verdad? O sea, para ellos les da lo mismo que sea eh, to be or not to be, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, pero para nosotros, el to be algunas veces es ser y algunas veces es estar. Entonces, ahí la confusión de ellos. Porque ellos, para ellos, es el mismo verbo. Y ya estuvo. Entonces, por eso hay que enseñarles a ellos cuál es la diferencia para usar el verbo to be como ser y para usar el verbo to be como estar. ¿Verdad? De ese es el gran problema de ellos, que ellos muchas veces no, no diferencian entre una cosa y la otra. Y les digo yo a mis hijos, eh, son, son araganes para crear palabras. Sé que nosotros tenemos un vocabulario más extenso que el de ellos. Y, pero no tan araganes, les digo yo, como los franceses. Me dicen, ¿por qué decís eso? Imagínense que los franceses no, no, no pueden siquiera pensar en palabras para sus números. 
Porque, por ejemplo, para decir 80 en francés, son quatre bands, o sea, cuatro veintes. ¿En serio? Sí. Wow. <risa> Entonces, o sea, no tienen una palabra que signifique 80, sino que ellos ya de un solo, a la hora de que te están enseñando los números, te están haciendo multiplicar, porque no tienen <risa> un número para 80, sino que son cuatro, cuatro es cuatro. Vans, veintes, cuatro veintes, para decir ochenta. Ok, buen dato, la verdad. <risa> Interesante, <risa> gracioso. Sí, y bueno, y otra cosa, las pronunciaciones. Y me, ustedes, ya, más de alguna vez, ustedes han visto en un perfume que dice E-A-U. ¿Verdad? E-A-U. Sí. En los perfumes dice E-A-U. Entonces, eh, O de toilette, dice. Entonces, es, oigan como digo, O, O de toilette, y lo que tienen ahí es E, A, U, y se pronuncia O, o sea, que de las tres letras que están ahí, ninguna es la que se pronuncia. <risa> Interesante o sea, el dato. Sí, no sé, si es que, o sea, aprender el francés es súper difícil, y lo mismo en inglés. Porque en inglés las mismas cinco vocales, o sea, usted en español mira la A en cualquier lado, usted sabe que es A. La E igual, la I igual. O sea, usted mira esa letra, usted sabe cómo se pronuncia. Pero en inglés algunas veces es A, algunas veces es I, algunas veces es A, algunas veces es E. O sea, las mismas cinco vocales tienen 18 sonidos diferentes. Wow. Entonces, hay que saber bien, bien, o sea, by heart, cómo se pronuncia. Y eso es lo, lo que es más dificultoso del inglés. O sea, que, que no lo pronuncian tal cual se escribe. En cambio, en español, no usted sabe, usted mira algo escrito y usted sabe cómo se pronuncia. Media vez usted sabe las vocales y las consonantes, los sonidos, ahí va. En inglés, ¿no? Y por eso es que cuesta tanto aprender el inglés. Pero ya media vez usted eh, le, le sugiero no acostumbrarse solamente a escuchar y a repetir, sino que trate siempre de buscar cómo se escribe para que usted vaya viendo eh, que cómo se llama, cómo es la pronunciación de lo que se va escribiendo porque se escribe diferente a cómo se pronuncia. No Cierto, hay muchas frases que sí es de verdad. Uh -huh. Bien, entonces... Oh. Ah, esto es lo que les quería enseñar. Por ejemplo, este. Este, este 1.1 es el mismo video del 1.3. No pierda su tiempo viendo. Bueno, sí, lo va a tener que ver porque si no, no le va a aparecer chequeadito. Y si no le aparece chequeadito, aparece como que usted no ha, no ha visto las, las cosas. Entonces, véalo hasta el final porque, para que le aparezca el cheque. Porque todo esto lo van a revisar, ¿verdad? Y entonces, Siempre ha sido pero... problema eso en todas en toda las Ajá, en Sí, parte, sí, porque si no lo no mira hasta el final, no le, no le aparece el chequecito. Y después aparece como que usted no ha visto todo el material. Entonces, este, pero... Por eso es importante que tengan bajado el material este. Porque este, lo que no les apareció ahí, lo vamos a ver aquí. O sea, en esto. En la página 73. ¿Verdad? Y si no, no se preocupe, yo se lo, yo se lo enseño aquí. ¿Verdad? Pero sí, eh, eh, no lo tienen ahí. Y la cosa es que después viene un ejercicio por escrito. Y si usted no lo ha visto, ¿cómo lo va a contestar? Digan. Excuse me, teacher. Uh -huh. where, where can I found this, this, this material? Yes. Okay. Let me show you. Here. Manual del, del participante. You have course, uh -huh. progress, uh -huh. discussion, instructor, and manual del participante. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Entonces ahí lo bajan y vayan, vayan eh, guardándolo. Yo ya lo tengo guardado. Aquí dice, ¿ves? Say users. 
ya lo tengo guardado. Entonces, este, para que lo, para que la información que no encontremos en el, en el material, porque subieron mal el video, eh, lo tenemos aquí por escrito, ¿verdad? Y también tienen ejercicios extras. Esta es la conversación. Esta es la que les digo que está por escrito. Pero este listening está en el video y ya se los ya se los puse yo aquí en el PPT por escrito. Ok. Bien, ahora vamos a hacer eh, readings. ¿Verdad? Sobre eh, este... Eh, voy a querer volunteers, perdón. Ups. Volunteers. Ok, go ahead. Ok, Nadia, ¿en who else? Me. En Denny, teacher. Who is me? Es que no te veo aquí. Okay. Dennis. Ok. Then, eh, Nadia and Dennis. First, Nadia, and then Dennis. Okay. No, no, sorry. Uh, 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 the other way around. First, Dennis, and then uh, Nadia. Okay. Dennis. So, what were you like when you were younger? When I was a, a kid, I was a kind of irresponsibly. You? Really? What made you change? Rather, grow graduating from high school what do you mean well, well until i graduate I, I never had any important responsibilities but then i went off to college okay dennis I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where do you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Okay, thank you. Now, other two volunteers, uh, Daisy and? And me, teacher. Okay. Okay, go ahead. You so, first. So, what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduated from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduate, I never had any important responsibilities. But then I went off to college. Now you? I know Hello. what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So, what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I, once I have a job. I became? I became um I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, uh, other two volunteers, Daisy and May Cesar. Okay. Cesar. So what were you like when you were younger? Daisy? Sorry, Miss, it's Debbie. 
Debbie. Ah, okay. Okay. When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduated, I've never had any important responsibilities. But then I went off co to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved uh, away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I work for my dad at the bank. Okay, thank you very much. Now we will continue with the next part. Uh, repeat after me, all of you. Another turning point for me was when I got my dog Pepper. Another turning point for me was when I got my dog Pepper. I know that sounds silly, but it is very important to me. I know that sounds silly, but it is very important to me. It is very important to me. Why was that important? Why was, Why was that important? important? Well, I was about 11. Well, I was about 11. I remember that having a dog, you know, I I he remember was mine. that having a dog, no, you know, no, he was, was mine. Make me feel really responsible. Make me feel, Make me feel really, really responsible. responsible. In a funny kind of way. In a funny, In a funny, kind, funny of kind of way. way. He was bothered me everywhere. He, he was, was bothered, bothered me everywhere. 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 And was always waiting for me. And was and always, was waiting, always, waiting, always waiting, waiting for me. For me. When I came from school. When I, when came, I from school. came from a school. school. Actually, that sounds kind of nice. Actually, Actually that, that sounds, sounds kind of nice. 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 I never got to have a dog. I, I never got, never to, got to, to have a dog. 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 But I remember when I had my first bicycle. But I remember, I remember when I had, when I had, my, when first I had my first bicycle. 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 That was a very important day for me. That, that was, was, very was a very important day for me. For the first time, I can go out on my own. For, for the first time, time, I can go out, can go out, on, my out my on my own. And go as far as I want to. And go as far as I want to. I, want to. I used to polish my bicycle every day. I used to polish my bicycle every day. Every day. And take good care of it. And take good care of it. Of course, it only lasted a few months. Of course, it only lasted a few months. And then I lost interest on it. And, and then, then, then I, I lost the interest, interest on it. Okay. Now, uh, other two volunteers, please. I started with a girl. Okay, Maritza and someone else. Okay, go ahead. Me. Yes. Okay. Another turning point for me was when I got my dog peppered. I know that sounds silly, but it is very important to me. Okay, the other one. Have you alguien más ahí? Why? Was that important? Okay. Well, I was about about 11th 
I remember that having a dog, you know, he was mine. Made me feel really responsible in a funny kind of way. He was bothered me everywhere and was always waiting for me when I came from the school. The next. Yes, next. Actually, that's some kind of night. I never got to have a dog, but I remember when I had my first bicycle. That was a very important day for me. For the first time, I can go out on my own and go as far as I, as I want to. I used to polish my bicycle every day and take good care of it. Of course, it only lasted a few months and then I lost interest on it. Okay, thank you very much. Now, other two volunteers, please. Noemi and... Who else? Jose Arturo, could you help us? Oh, yeah. Okay. First, Noemi, and then Jose Arturo. Okay. Another turning point for my was when I got my dog paper. I know that sounds silly, but it is very important to me. Why was that important? Well, I was about 11. I remember that having a dog, you know, he was mine. Made my feel really responsible in a funny kind of way. He, wa he was bothered me everywhere and was always waiting for me when I came from school. Okay, thank you. And Arthur. Hmm? Um, actually, that's some kind of nice. I never got a, got to have a dog. But I remember when I had my first bicycle. That was a very important day for me. For the first time, I can go, go out on my own and go as far as I want to. I used to polish my bicycle every day and take good care of it. Of course, it only lasted a few months. And then I lost interest on in it. Okay, thank you very much. Now, we will continue. In the discussion box, you know how to work on the discussion box? ¿Saben cómo se trabaja en la discussion box? Uh, yes, miss. ¿Sí? Yes. Ok. O sea, aquí, digamos en el video, ustedes se van para abajo y aquí dice discussion. ¿sí? Entonces, ustedes ponen añade una publicación y ponen que es una discusión. Entonces, donde dice título, póngale usted su nombre para que se sepa que el que está escribiendo es usted. Aquí va a poner su nombre y aquí va a contestar lo que se le pregunta en la discussion box. ¿Ok? Y cuando termine de escribir, le da enviar. Y ya va a aparecer ahí. ¿Estamos bien? Ok. ¿Sí? Sí, a veces la gente no, no, no sabe cómo es que se usa porque nunca les han enseñado cómo es que se usa. Pero a mí siempre me gusta darles así el tour. <ríe> ¿Verdad? Entonces, este, en la discussion box, lo que van a contestar es What was another turning point for Carol and Alan? Eh, entonces, acuérdense que como yo hoy les voy a compartir cuando terminemos la clase, 
le voy a pasar este PPT, ahí pueden leer y escribir qué es el turning point. ¿Cuál creen que fue el turning point for Carol? What was the turning point for Carol? Pepper. Pepper, when she had a dog, okay? And what was the turning point for Alan? The bicycle, um, the bicycle, okay, the bicycle. Now, uh, somebody to read the lesson objective 1.2, please. Well, by the end of this lesson, participants will learn to use super, subordinating conjunction. Ok, thank you very much. Entonces ahí está lo que les digo que le pusieron otro, otro video, pero es sobre time classes, ¿verdad? Tenía que ser sobre time classes. Y aquí eh, eh, lo que está en rojito son las time classes. En, en este caso los ponen al principio. Entonces dice, before, repeat after me, before I had my first job, Before, Before I had my first job, I was really immature. I was, I was really, really immature. immature. After I got my first job, after, after I got my, I got my first job, I became more mature. I became, I became more, mature. more mature. Si ustedes se fijan, es casi la misma idea con diferentes time clauses. Y una se podría decir que es negativa y la otra es positiva, ¿verdad? Now, once I had a job, I became totally independent. I became totally independent. Permítanme que, como esto se los comparto a ustedes, no me gusta que vaya con, con errores. Y cuando lo veo después sí. se me olvida si no, lo, si no lo arreglo en el momentito. Bien. Ya. Entonces... Ya. Yeah. Uh, the moment I move away from home. The moment I move away from home. I feel like a different person. I felt like a different person. Okay. Now, uh, uh, this is always the time clock. Uh, uh, se los estoy mostrando, ¿verdad? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. As soon as, yes. as, soon as, as, soon as, as soon as, as soon as, I got my own bank account. I got, I got my, my own, own bank, 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 account. bank account. I started to be more responsible. I, I, I started to be to more, be more responsible. responsible. To be more responsible. Aquí tiene que ser I, oye. Lo que pasa es que esta, esta, esta mi computadora tiene, tiene, tiene complejo de, de smartphone y cuando yo estoy escribiendo me, me corrige. <laughs> Until I graduated. Until I graduated. Until I, graduated. I never had any important responsibilities. I never had any important responsibilities. By the time I graduated from high school, by the time, by the time I graduated from, I graduated from, high, school, from high, school, high, school, high, school, high school, I had already started working. I, I had already, already, started already started working. Started working. Algo así me pasó a mí. <laughs> Yo tuve que estudiar y trabajar para ver de ser alguien en la vida. Y entonces vamos al primer knowledge check, ¿verdad? Entonces esto lo vamos a trabajar ustedes. Y después este listening también y lo verificamos mañana. ¿Ok? Ok. 
lo verificamos mañana, este, ¿cómo, cómo les fue con esos ejercicios. No se preocupen si se equivocan, ¿verdad? Este, la, la, la plataforma no se cierra, sino que usted puede corregir donde se equivocó. Entonces, si usted se equivoca y no haya cuál es la respuesta, mañana lo verificamos aquí todos juntos, ¿ok? Solo trabajen okay. en su cuenta y si pueden adelantar, mucho que mejor. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. 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 Good night, everyone.